So this is our example number 2 for torsion of rectangular shaft. Determine the torque required to produce a 5 degrees twist in the piece of wood. Use G is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for wood. Ayan. Okay, so yung ating rectangular bar is... Okay, meron thickness na 1.75 inches. And ito, length. Or length, width. Ayan, width. Na 3.75 inch. And yung length ng ating rectangular bar is 8 feet. Ayan. Okay, so pinapahanap, ano? Torque. Okay? So, yung ating A is yung 3.75 inches. Okay, yung ating B naman is 1.75 inches. Okay? So, kung torque yung hinahanap and may natin given na angle of twist, okay, so yung angle of twist natin is equals to TL over C sub 2 AB cube multiplied by G. Ayan. So, meron tayong L, meron tayong A, meron tayong B, meron tayong G. So, yung C sub 2 na lang natin. Okay? So, since ang ating uh, A over B is equals to 3.75 over 1.75, yung ating A over B is equals to, okay, so, kupit natin, 3.75 over 1.75 Okay, so 2.143 So, check natin kung meron to sa, ano, sa ating table Okay, so ito yung ating table So, check natin Okay So, 2.143 Okay, walang eksakto, no? Walang eksakto sa 2.143 natin, pero Alam natin, yung ating 2.143 is nasa gitna ng ating 2.0. Okay. Ito yan. And 2.5. So, yung sabihin, mag interpolate tayo. Okay. So, di ko lang alam kung familiar kayo sa interpolation. So, ganito lang naman yun. So, sulat lang natin yan. So, this is 2.0. Then, so, okay. Wait lang. So, this is our A over B and this is our C sub 2. So, yung ating A over B na 2.0 is equivalent to the C sub 2 na 0.229. Then, nasa gitna yung ating 2.143. Then, sabihin natin X. Okay, unknown kasi yung C sub 2 natin. Okay? Then, yung ating 2.5. Ayan. So, yung ating C sub 2 sa 2.5 is 2. Uh, sorry, 0.249. Ayan. So, yung gagawin lang natin dito is ganito yan okay so sabihin natin ano 2.0 minus 2.143 then ito naman yan then kung ano yung ginawa natin sa ano sa isang side ganun din yung sa kabilang side yan okay lang para mas malinaw space pa yan okay so ito nyan ang gagawin natin 2.0 minus 2.143. So, meaning this is A. Ayan. Then, 2.0 minus 2.5. So, this is B. So, ito nyan is C. And this is our D. Ayan. Okay? So, ganito lang yan. So, A over B is equals to C over D. Ayan. So, yung ating A is 2.0 minus 2.5. 1, 4, 3. And ang ating B is 2.0 minus 2.5. So, yung ating C naman, ganun din. Okay? Kaso, nasa C sub 2 lang yun. Okay? So, kung sino nauna dito sa ating A, si, siyempre si 2.0, dapat yung ating sa C is yung ating C sub 2 para sa ating 2.0. So, this is 0.229 then minus X over 0.229 minus 0.5. 249. Okay. Yan. So init na ako lang. Yan. So makukuha natin yung ating x. So pwede na rin naman diyan yung shift solve. Okay? So kahit magkabalik din pa yan, pwede rin naman na 2.143 minus ah uh, okay. Wait, na, pwede ba yun? 2.143 minus 2.0. Ay hindi pwede. Kailangan mauna yung ano, 2.0. 
Okay? Ah, pwede pala. So, 2.0 minus... Uh, 2.1 minus 3 minus 2.0. Then, nasa baba nun is 2.5 minus 2.0. So, pwede yun. So, 2.0 minus 2.143 over 2.0 minus 2.5 is equals to 0.229 minus x then 0.229 minus 0.249 then so 0.305 Mali. Mali, 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 mali. Ba't gano'n? Ah. Mali pala yung naigyan ako. Okay, so. Compute natin. So. 2.0 minus 2.143 over 2.0 minus 2.5 is equals to 0.229 minus x over 0.229 minus 0.249. Yan. Yan. So, 0.235. Okay? So, 0.235. So, check natin kung tama. So, x dapat natin is nasa gitna ng 0.229 and 0.249. So, 0.229. Mas malit siya dito. Yan. And 0.249. So, ngayon, try naman natin kung pwede magkabaliktad. Okay? So, pwede rin naman yan. So, gabay natin na 2.143 minus 2.0. Then, syempre, dapat nasa dapat nasa hulihan din yung ano, 2.0. So, ang mangyayari niyan, 2.5 minus 2.0. Dito niya, nauna yung 2.143. So, dapat mauna yung x. Then, minus 0.229. Then, mauna yung ating 0.249. Then, mauli yung 0.229. So, dapat pares na sila ng lalabas na answer. Ayan. So, 0.235. Okay. So, meron tayong si sub 2. Makuha natin yung ating t. So, yung ating t is equals to angle of twist multiplied by si sub 2 multiplied by a multiplied by b cube multiplied by g over l. Okay? So, yung ating ano kasi, ang galop twist is in degrees. So, convert natin into radians. So, dito na lang. Ayan. So, yung ating ang galop twist is 5 degrees. So, multiplied by pi over 180 degrees. So, pi over 180 multiplied by 5. So, 0.0873. So, 0.0873 regions. Okay? Then, yung ating T is, is, is equals to theta na 0.0873 multiplied by C sub 2. Ang C sub 2 natin is 0.235 multiplied by A na 3.75 B na 1.75. Okay, so this is, ano, inch to the fourth. Ayan. Then, gigapas, ah, gigapascal, sorry. That is, ano pala? Um, shear modulus, G. Okay. So, PSI. 1.0 times 10 raised to 6. PSI. So, this is pounds per inch squared. Ayan. Over L. Ang L natin is 8 feet. So, convert natin yun ng inches. So, times 12 inch. So, check natin. Okay. So, this is inches squared. Tama ba? Then, cancel out to kasi merong inch dito. So, ang ating ano nyan, torque is pounds inch. Ayan. So, 0.0873 multiplied by 0.235 Multiplied by 3.75 multiplied by 1.75 multiplied by 1 times 10 raised to 6 over 8 multiplied by 12. Ayan. Okay. So, yung ating torque is 
Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Nakalimutan natin ilagay yung cube. Ayan. So, naka-cube yung ating 1.75. Ayan. Lagi ko nakakalimutan yung mga ganyan. Oops, sorry, sorry. Ito na lang sa loob. Ayan. Cube. Ayan. So, 4294.932. Okay, so 4294.932. 932 pounds inch. And so ito yung ating torque. Okay, based on the angle of twist. Okay, so kung pinapahanap naman yung ating ano, maximum shear stress, pwede rin naman. Okay, so ano ba yung ating maximum shear stress? Ating maximum shear stress is equal to T over C sub 1 multiplied by A multiplied by B squared. Okay? Ayan. So, pwede rin naman. Kunin natin ito. So, 4294.932 pounds inch. Okay? Over si sub 1. Okay. So, kapag ganito, mag interpolate din tayo para sa ating si sub 1. So, ito naman yun. Ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Yan. Okay? So, mangyayari nyan dito, sabi natin ano, Y. Y na lang yung ating ano, uh, C sub 1 para sa 2.143. Okay? So, dito na lang yan. So, magiging, um, okay, so 2.0 minus 2.143 over 2.0 minus 2.5 equals 2. Okay, 2.0 minus Y over okay so 2.0 ah sorry hindi siya ano hindi siya 2.0 0 0.246 minus y over 0.246 minus 0.258 so ngayon yung ating y is balikan na natin sa history ito yung history nya kaya ah Ay, wala pala yun kasi nag ship sold pala tayo ron. Okay, so 2.0 minus 2.143 over 2.0 minus 2.5 is equals 2.246 minus yung y natin over 0.246 minus 0.258 Okay, so 0.249. Check. Okay, nasa gitna yun ng ano, diba? Ng 0.246 and 0.258. So, 0.249. So, 0.249. So, ito nyan is 0.249. Then, ang A natin is 3.75. Ang B natin is 1.75. So, ito, square. So, ito nyan is inch cube. Then, G. Ah, sorry, wala na pala G. Ayan. So yung, so, yung ating maximum shear stress is 4294.932 over 0.249 multiplied by 3.75 multiplied by 1.75 square. So, tama na ba? Tama na ba yung nailagay natin? Okay. Then, 1.501. Check pala natin muna yung ano, uh, unit. So, ito nyan. Okay. Cancel out. So, magiging inch squared. So, tama. PSI. So, 1501.92. Okay. So, 0.93. So, 1501.93. So, pounds per inch squared. So, that is PSI. Okay. So, this is our maximum shear stress for the rectangular bar. Okay. Yan. So, this is our example number 2 for torsion of rectangular bars.